Valentine's Day may still be five months away, but that doesn't mean we can't celebrate love all year round. In fact, Sunday is actually Love Note Day. To celebrate, Kara's here with a few famous love notes from years gone by and yes. things to care about. What were you just Roses looking at? Roses are red. Were you stretching? <laughs> are you okay? You were like this as I was reading that introduction. I didn't I know what was going on. following the camera. And the camera is oh, great it. angles. Yes. Poor Napoleon has to keep the camera high and tight, so we look young and Skinny. Thank you, Napoleon. Thank you, Napoleon. Thank okay, you, so I love it. How about we all work on some love letters, love letters, some love notes for the weekend and leave them. I do. Well, you know I like to do the you notes. You do. You, you love a flourishing in topography and words. Yes. They're very, they're very big. They're very oh, big and fruitful. <laughs> you do. You write a lovely letter. You well, a lovely take, letter. I, I've been slacking off. But anyway, some, mm. some of these people, they've <laughs> sent some love letters that are, well, legendary. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're going to inspire you to write a love letter right now. Okay. So a lot of you may be searching still for love. And we're here to remind you that a text message, nope, it's not going to cut it, people. We got to write a letter. You deserve True. a love letter like some of these. All right. The first one is from the second first lady of the United States. Abigail Adams to President John Adams. According to NPR, the two exchanged more than a thousand letters over the course of their relationship and intended for their correspondence to stand as a record for their lives for posterity. Posterity. This one was written December 23rd, 1782. It says in it, should I draw you the picture of my heart, it would be what I hope you would still love, though it contained nothing new. The early possession you obtained there and the absolute power you have obtained over it oh. leaves not the smallest space unoccupied. As I am reading this, I am giggling in my head if somebody's going to transcribe that directly and give it to a loved one, they probably won't know that it was from Abigail Adams. Yeah, well, Go ahead and take it. Plagiarize your life. No. K Kara, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got a little lost. I got to admit, I had to go back. I was reevaluating the space of the love of the heart. Yeah, right. That was very, very. Th that language mm -hmm. was so flowery and eloquent, like it they was. did back in those days. It was. We couldn't possibly <laughs> replicate. Right. Uh, we try. Right. Well, now you just you could probably send a few emojis and get the same. same no, feeling. never, never. No. Okay, I'm just kidding. Also, you can Google her love letters and his love letters back to her. They were very um, sweet, and you can read them online. I've I've taken a deep dive there before. Aww. Why? I don't know. That's cute. I do not know. Because you love right. love. Um, this next one may sound familiar if you're a fan of Sex in the City. Ludwig Van Beethoven was on Sex in the City? <laughs> I'm just kidding. He wrote a 10-page letter to someone he pens as immortal beloved. Here's what it said. What longing and tears for you, you my life, my all, farewell. Oh, go on loving me. Never doubt the faithfulest heart of your beloved. Ever thine, ever mine, ever ours. Oh, yes, she reads wow. it to Big. Sex in the City. Yes. Not while he plays Beethoven on the piano. Oh. No, that's not true. Oh, Carol. I made that last part. Like, oh, but you I know. believe everything she says. I'm like, oh, I missed that one. Kara. Is, you have to parse through what's true and what's not after the segment. But what is true is that Burger did break up with Carrie via a post it, which is yeah, also not, not a love letter. Not appropriate. Don't yeah. write love letters. Well, post its are cute if you're like, love you, whatever. Right, right, right. But, but not yeah. like, see Don't, you later. No. No. Okay. okay. Number three. Um, this one's good. Late U.S. President George H.W. Bush was pretty romantic in the letters he wrote to his wife, Barbara. Bush enlisted in the Navy in World War II and while stationed overseas, wrote letters to both his parents and to his then girlfriend, Barbara Pierce. To this day, only the love letter to Barbara remains from the former president's time overseas as Barbara reported reportedly <gasps> lost the majority of her letters in a move after the pair were married. I understand, Barbara, it's okay. It's from 1942. <laughs> this one says, I love you, precious, with all my heart, and to know that you love me means my life. How often I have thought about the immeasurable joy that will be ours someday. How lucky our children will be to have a mother like you. Oh, oh my gosh, that makes me teary-eyed. Very sweet. How romantic. Well, apparently you appreciate them more than Barbara did. Well, I know. <laughs> she, lost him. she lost him in the move. I know. But oh my gosh, did I tell you? Because really I, I, all the cards that yeah. I buy Jim, I then put them by his nightstand. Mm -hmm. And then one day I looked in the trash and oh. there were three or four thrown away. Oh, no. I fish those what? things out. I go, <laughs> what has happened? Dusted them right. off? Yes. Is this the way you treat these letters? Right. And he's like, oh, honey. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Okay, wait, can I tell you? This is so sweet. I've said this on the show before, but my parents started re-gifting cards from like 20 years in the past now that to, for current, you know, like when they were, and it was sweet because then you could reflect on what they were feeling like in and 1975 or whatever it is. Yeah, so try to, you can I recycle. Love that, yeah, because cards are very all, expensive yes, too. Give all of those back to Jim. Okay, this next <laughs> one I'll say really quickly is one of the most iconic romances in music history, Johnny Cash and June Carter. Johnny recalls a certain song the pair sang together. The fire and excitement may be gone now that we don't go out there and sing them anymore, but the ring of fire still burns Thank around you. you and I. The ring of fire. Keeping our love hotter than a pepper sprout. Okay. Love, <laughs> John. That was good, Kara. <laughs> Thank you. We're What's a pepper sprout? I don't know. Like a, Oh, why? Oh, it's in the song. I'm it's, going I mean, to Jackson. Jackson. I just watched that movie the other day. It's so good. Okay, yeah. sorry. Okay. I digress. What? I think okay. I don't think Last we one was we, Marilyn and Joe DiMaggio. Mm -hmm. but they loved each other. You Lots guys, of love. We hope we've inspired you. We sure hope we have. To we, write an original or yeah. steal one we just shared. Get out some, don't steal it. <laughs> write from your heart. Get out your <laughs> pen and paper. And we want to hear what your favorite love note of all time is. Is it your own? <laughs> Napoleon just got like sort of okay tag right ATL letter. and co share it with us mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna find one of the cards I sent to Jim that he threw out and I'm gonna snapshot it <laughs>